The power of fungi, mushrooms, and mycelium. What are mushrooms and what is mycelium? Mushrooms are the reproductive organ of the fungi, which main purpose is to release millions of spores. Spores are like microscopic seeds. Mycelium make up the majority of the fungal body. Mycelium is composed of millions of tiny threads that spread out and net together as it gains territory. Mycelium is the fungi's lung, stomach, and nervous system. Each part is a completion of its whole. If a piece of mycelium is separated, it will function, create, and spread out its own network. Mycelium is nature's molecular factories. Mycelium excretes special, specific, and strong digestive juices, which can break down substances many times faster than would occur naturally. Mycelium also creates its own antibiotics to protect itself. The fungal kingdom is larger than the plant and animal kingdom combined. So what does this mean? What are its implications? Well, first off, there are many species of edible mushrooms. Given the fact that each part of the mycelium network functions as a whole, it's easy to expand a mycelium mushroom culture. You can take one half gallon of mycelium conquered material known as spawn and break it up and inoculate into 10 half gallons of material the mycelium can colonize, known as substrate. When the substrate becomes spawn, you can repeat the process with your 10 spawn half-gallon jars and turn it into a hundred half-gallon jars of spawn. From one half-gallon of spawn into a hundred half-gallons of spawn. This gathered with the fact that each mushroom can create millions of spores, which are seeds, you can see how easy it is to expand a mushroom culture. What's more, since there are so many species, there are a large variety of different tastes, ranging from chicken to lobster tail to cashews to tastes that you have never imagined. Also, there are a large variety of medical mushrooms. For example, the reishi mushroom has therapeutic effects as an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-tumor, antiviral, blood pressure regulator, blood sugar moderator, cardiovascular tonic, cholesterol reducer, immune enhancer, kidney tonic, liver tonic, lungs and respiratory tonic, nerve tonic, and stress reducer. The reishi mushroom's name's literal translation can be summed up as divine or spirit mushroom, tree of life mushroom, 10,000 year mushroom, or mushroom of immortality. Its name literally means long life. The reishi mushroom has more than a hundred distinct polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are long sugar chain molecules, which science has been looking into for its amazing effects at boosting the immune system, and 119 tritrepanoids, which also have strong indication for our health. This is just one mushroom in a kingdom that is larger than the plant and animal kingdom combined. Fungi has strong ability in bio-restoration. In the video, here is a pile of earth that's been purposely dumped with oil to represent an oil spill that was then inoculated with oyster mushrooms. The mycelium absorbed the oil, broke it down into food, and created many mushrooms. This is a photo of just six weeks later. After the mushrooms sporulated, the spores attracted bugs, 
which then attracted birds, which then brought seeds and created an oasis of life from what was an oil spill. The aromatic hydrocarbons in this pile went from 10,000 parts per million to less than 200 in just eight weeks. You can also create a large amount of spawn from agricultural waste and storm debris and then emplace them into places where there is high toxicity levels and the fungus will help break down the toxins and poisons. Fungi can be used as a replacement for plastic and styrofoam and insulation. Why should we replace styrofoam and plastics? Styrofoam and plastics, a man-made material that takes an absurd amount of time to break down if it finds its way into nature. If it finds its way into the ocean, it starts to break down into little pellets that look like food to fish. These little pellets are cancer-causing, and every single person on the planet Earth, including newborn babies, has some broken bits of styrofoam carthinogens in their body somewhere. What poisons the ecosystem poisons ourselves. Both styrofoams and plastics take oil, petrol, to be made, a material that took millions of years to create. Mycelium, as it networks together, is like a glue. Mycelium can hold up to 30,000 times its own mass. You can take a substrate material known as food stock. This can be an agricultural waste like corn husks. Put it, put it into a mold, the shape that's desired, inoculate it with mycelium, and let it grow throughout the mold, netting it together. Dry it, and you have a suitable replacement for styrofoam. Mycelium is a natural insulator. If you add perlite into the mold, you can create a flame retardant insulation. When this mushroom material finds its way into the environment, it will naturally break down and release nutrients into the soil. The entire process can be easily automated. Fungi has strong potential in pest management and control. Entomopathogenic fungi, fungi that kills insects. If an insect is compromised by a spore or mycelium from this fungi, the fungi will eat the insect and produce its reproductive organ and release spores. This has the potential to completely eliminate the pest problem. Insects have the ability to sense these spores, and they won't go in an area because they know it's off limits, which means that the place of infestation is no longer suitable for reinfestation. We can take extracts from these spores and control the direction of insects with it. The implications of this is huge. Imagine for a moment, instead of bombing pesticides on a swarm of locusts, dropping down millions of tiny spores, which can then halt the swarm, and if we use cordyceps mushrooms, the fruiting body that leaves the insect can be used as a medicine. Fungi and Plant Symbiosis Fungi and plants have been around for a very long time. A certain group of fungi have formed a very strong symbiotic relationship with plants. They're called mycorrhizal fungi. Mycorrhizal fungi are compatible with 95% of all species of plants. Mycorrhizal fungi attach themselves to the roots of plants and act as an advanced extended root system capable of breaking down material and searching for water and minerals and bringing them directly to the plant. 
Also, the fungi will defend the plant from diseases. Given the fact that just one cubic inch of soil can contain up to eight miles of mycelium cells, this gives the plant's root system way more surface area to gather nutrients and water. Plants partnered with mycorrhizal fungi grow faster, sometimes more than twice its normal speed. They're more resilient to disease, more resilient against droughts, more heat tolerant, more cold tolerant than they are without its fungal partners. Partnering with fungi is important for the health of the entire earth and humankind. I am also creating a mushroom video that explains how you can make your own cultures. Thank you.